57. But she's and gone out too fast, uh, so uh, she needs to look back and uh, look at where the field is so she can adjust her pace. Mary Mora, however, catching up, as well as the rest of the team. And the first lap was done in a time of 55, 67, which was much faster than what was required. But here we go. So Mary Mora still in second, controlling the, the the pace from the back. You know, I think no one would really want to pass her. The, the pacemaker stepped out. Incidentally, that was a younger sister. So Mary could still controlling the pace here. Down the back straight, Mary Mora is still in the lead. Followed closely by Chip Churchill. 600 meters down, still a very fast time. Uh, they're going to go for a world leading time here based on the, on the splits here, as we have seen. Mary Mara still hasn't put in her running yet. She's going to leave it to the last 100 where she can use her speed to pull away from this field. A very controlled Mary Mara. Nobody really wants to uh, contest her. And there she pulls away. Nice and easy, Mary Moran kicks the last 50, 20 meters to win in 1.57. World, world leading time here in Nairobi by Mary Moran, looking very controlled and relaxed. A new meeting record, Mary a world Mara leading time. snatches the meeting record from Pudum Seko Diso from South Africa. Yes, she looks very controlled and relaxed. Um, didn't want to follow the fast pace set by her sister, the pacemaker, at 55. So she looked very controlled. The fans here are quite happy about her performance. Mary Mora, first 800 meters of the, of the season, world leading time, uh, meeting record here at the Kipkana Classic. And Mary Mora manages to get a, an Olympic qualifying time. She needed to be sub 159.30. And Mary Mora has done it. A new meeting record, and she qualifies for the Olympics. Yes, and the smile is back, and the dance is back, as expected. Her winning dance, Mary Mora, world champion, here winning a season best in meeting record. 